Yo, 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 this your boy M. Breezy. Back at it again, man, with another video. Uh, today we're going to get into this Draymond Green uh, suspension. As we all have heard by now, he's been suspended for the next game uh, tomorrow night in Golden State, a home game. And uh, everybody got their opinion, man, um, on this suspension. How they feel about it. We're going to uh, listen to Stephen A. Smith, man, and give his take on it because it all depends on who's in the room with this guy, who's uh, sitting across from him. Uh, he tends to uh, see what the temperature in the room is on the other other person's hate. Sometimes it tends to, to uh, make him get you know more hype and, and, and be more uh, uh, aggressive toward his uh, uh, opinion. And uh, J.J. Reddick, it seems like every time this guy... JJ Reddick is across from him. He seems to, uh, you know, because I don't know what it is, man. Uh, he, he has a lot of respect for JJ Reddick, and, and, it, and it shows um, because I've been I've been watching ever since JJ Reddick been on the show, and, and um, I don't know what JJ Reddick uh, got on Stephen A. Smith or uh, 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 what, but um, we're gonna listen to this clip, man, and. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, comment, man, on this, G give my commentary on this, man, after we uh, listen to some of these clips and what I think, man, and, um, and what I see from uh, Stephen A. Smith. So let's go ahead and dive into this uh, first clip, man, and then we're going to get back to this uh, commentary. Guys, Dre was suspended? I was not surprised at all, but, in but incredibly disappointed. Let me say this. <clears throat> in him or the NBA? The NBA. Okay. I'm disappointed in the NBA. Love me some Adam Silver. Uh, we all know this. I'm disgusted with the NBA this morning. I'm sick and tired of everybody acting like this is just another game. It's not just another game. It's a playoff game. You got to do something far more flagrant than this to be suspended. Now, just for the record, I was on the phone with the league office this morning. Their position is clear. Um... It was the excessiveness of the stomp, how demonstrative it was by Draymond Green, and it was also history. Now, everybody, everybody knows that Draymond Green uh, has a history of, you know, uh, every time that the scene like the other uh, other player is getting the best of Draymond Green, he, he some kind of ways try to. Uh, uh, get aggressive and try to, as you will, like punk you out, try to scare you up so he, he can have his way because this guy have had very a, a lot of incidents, man, where, where uh, he's been suspended by the league, man, for uh, the, some of these various same same incidents. He, uh, whether it's Stephen Allen when he tried to, uh, you know, kick him in the groin area, and, uh, you know, but they, they didn't do anything when he, uh, Punch Jordan Poole, teammate, in the face. Uh, before the season, uh, when the season started, game one, came out, had the ring ceremony, got his ring, and played in game one. No suspensions, none of that. Uh, so why, why was he suspended for that incident? And uh, this guy, Stephen A. Smith, man, he he, he, he he tends to agree with the league when it, when it benefits him the most, uh, when he, when he gives his takes on the things. Uh, this guy, man, he, he's uh, he 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 he, he sort of gives his opinion based on the uh, the outcry from the from the uh, from the public. So this this is what he does, man, and um, it's, it's very noticeable, man, by, about this guy. Uh, let's get back into some more of this clip, man. I got another clip. Uh, we're gonna come back to, with some more of this commentary. Into the National Basketball Association is. We understand the investigators go, they interview Draymond Green, they interview Sabonis, they come back to the league office, they give them the information, and then Joe Dumas supposedly is the one that's making the decision. I don't want to hear that. This has Adam Silver's in on this too. And that's fine, you're the commissioner. My issue is you see what Sabonis has done. He's not some innocent bystander in all of this. Context, which I'll leave it to JJ to provide, definitely needs to be taken into consideration here. And then you got to take into consideration the fact it's the damn playoffs. 
And the, considering how great Sacramento has looked in the series and how great they have looked all season, for us to be sitting here talking about this and potentially how this will seal Golden State's fate is a damn shame. So now that uh, everybody know you picked Golden State to win this round, oh, so now that they're down 2 nothing, or now, now your pick is in jeopardy, and you're looking bad with your pick. Oh, so now it's a problem uh, uh, how, the, how the NBA does things now. It, it, it's a problem. How, how, well, didn't, didn't they get some bonus to take? He got a technical foul. I know he grabbed his he, he grabbed his uh, uh, ankle, but but uh, Draymond Green could have came down a, a, a better way than he did. He stomped the man in the chest. I know I, I know uh, uh, Sabonis provoked him. And, uh, Draymond Green, uh, well, you got to take in consideration he could have got hurt, so he came down. But he could he could have came down a, a, a better than the way he came down because it looked like he did that intentionally, intentionally. But uh. This guy Steve Day Smith, he, he like I say, he uh he gets upset with the with the lead office when it benefits him. And right now his pick is not looking good because he picked Golden State to win uh, uh, this series. He picked Golden State to go back to the finals again because he said this is uh, a dynasty. So he, everybody know he don't like to be wrong. So hey, he gonna go against you whether you like it or not because you're not gonna make him look bad out here in these streets because that's not how he roll. He think he's right about every situation. It is when it comes to the uh, uh, everything that he says. Uh, we gonna go. We got. I got another clip. We gonna um, listen to uh, Mr. JJ Reddit. Uh, his take on this situation. Uh, then we are gonna come back with some more commentary. To me, the referees have dictated too much in this series. They have allowed too much. I have no problem with physical play in the playoffs. But if Steph Curry's not allowed to move off the ball, if you're preventing players from running down the court and you're allowing that to happen, there's a play uh, late late in game two where Kevon Looney's right underneath the rim, ready for a rebound. Sabonis crashes in, pushes him in the back. They don't call the foul. That's a foul. The referees have dictated too much in the Kings' favor in this series. I really believe that. And I don't know if it's the home crowd or whatever. I rarely complain about the referees. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever complained about the referees. I think they're great. But if they're going to come back in this series, they've got to call the game the way the game is supposed to be called. So now you heard uh, J.J. Reddick, man. Uh, you know, he, he got his own podcast. You know, Draymond Green got his own podcast, too. So this is uh, what we call the new media, as they would say. I, I don't know if he's on... Golden State side because of Draymond Green. I'm not saying it did. It does, but it, it, it's, it, it's mighty strange that JJ Reddit now decides to try to talk about the official ain't the game. And only only when it comes to this game, the, the Golden State Warriors, uh, uh, they got a problem with the referees. But in the Memphis Grizzlies series, uh, uh, in the Lakers, they don't have a problem with that. They didn't have a problem with uh, coming down the stretch the last. Five games or so down the season that where the uh, Lakers got Lakers got several calls to help them get in the play-in game and finally make the playoffs. Nobody had a problem with that, but all of a sudden Golden State is down two nothing. Steph Curry, the Golden Boy, is down. Now everybody got a problem with it. Everybody got a problem with it, man. This, 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 this sometimes, man. You know, I'm glad we got they, they got the YouTube got giving everybody on platform because we got to call some of this out, man. Because some of these guys are hypocrites, man. They're hypocrites. They're hypocrites, and when they, and they only speak up, they see things that they don't like, and the other things they see that know is wrong, but they won't speak on it. They tend to ignore it. But uh, these guys, man, uh, uh, now they're trying to call the league out. Now they talk about the official aid. Now you can't find these guys. Now they can talk about the referee all they want to because, because you can't find these guys. But when the player does it, the player get fined. I see that that's a, that's a big problem, man. Like I said, these guys only speak on stuff like that when it benefit them. Only when it benefits them. Uh, uh, that's a big problem, man. Playing the game the way that the game is supposed to be called. But the point is, those officials answer to the league. And so if you know that they're not calling the game the way the game is supposed to be called, the league knows that. 
How do you not take that into consideration when you consider what happens and you know, listen, J.J. Redick, as brilliant as you are about basketball, the fact of the matter is, is that they know what the hell a Sabonis is doing just like you know. And to not have that contextually to throw into the equation and to suspend Draymond Green down 0-2, as heated as this series is, with everybody transfixed on the series, I mean, it's, it's it's the best series going as far as I'm concerned. I can't get enough of watching this series, despite what you pointed out. And to take out such a key ingredient to the Golden State Warriors' success in a playoff game like this, and to just act like, you know what, this is just some regular season game. These are the decisions that we make. This is what comes with it. I'm very disappointed in the league today. Very disappointed in them. There's no excuse for this. And the only thing that I can lean on, again, because they've, and I say softened up the league, and I don't mean the league is soft. I'm just talking about compared to what it used to be with the modifications that the NBA has thrown into the equation over the years. The fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, these things have happened because you're capitulating to a more attractive product that you're putting out there for the fans. You're reacting to what they say they want. I promise you, the fans want to see Draymond. Those who love him want to see him play. I don't Those think who hate him want to see him play and lose. But you want to see him. You don't want to see him hold. And now the fans are deprived of it because of the decision like this. I think it's an. I think it's atrocious. Yeah, I really, really. I don't do. think I've. So now he's saying that. Uh, the league knows the way the game is being officiated, officiated, and uh, they don't say nothing about it. So that can so that can be true for everybody else. Let's see if they have a problem a problem with officiating. Like for instance, again, like go back to the Lakers when the referee was helping the Lakers make the playoff when they was going to the free throw line way more time than, than their opponent was. Nobody had a problem with that then. The the, the league sure, sure didn't sure didn't have have a problem with it because they want the Lakers in the in the playoffs for the ratings for the money. That's what they want, the viewership. That's what they want. So it's very funny that all of a sudden you guys are worried about the official aiding the game. All of a sudden you guys are worried about the official aiding the game. Like I said, man, this guy here, like, like I said, this guy here, he like he like to check the temperature of the room. When somebody else speak, somebody else have a great point, he got to come back again and make his point more valid, talk more live. And, and be more, be more, uh, uh, you know, aggressive. It sound like he's so, like, he, like he's so mad with the lead. Man, man, boy, I tell you, man, this this guy here is a character. Stephen A. Smith, he's a character. And he's saying that the, uh, the, the referees and the league know what Sabonis is doing. So you, how you gonna tell me the league know what somebody's doing? So in other words, the league know what what everybody's doing in, in every game that's being played in the NBA. You see what I be saying, man? See what I be saying? Now you, 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 uh, uh all you now you got a problem with the league because you pick Golden State, to, Golden State to win the championship or, or go back to the finals. So now that your pick is in jeopardy, like I said earlier, now you have a problem with the league. Like I said, man, this guy here, man, he, 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 he uh, boy, if you if you make him look bad, boy, he, he gonna come for you. He, it don't matter who you are. That's just who he is. Yeah, you, 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 the league is soft. You is calling the league soft because it is soft. All these ticket tap, all these ticket tap files because you said it before yourself a, a, a while back that the league league is, is uh, get too soft. Now you're gonna try to say no. You're not talking about the uh, the, the, the game is soft. Yes, it is. Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. And what 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 really gets me when he said that uh, the league reacts to what the fans say and what what the media say. Let's go, hypocrite. So when you speak on uh, on Kyrie Irving and the way you speak on this man, oh, uh, oh, now you don't have a problem with the league reacting to what people say because you're putting it out there. Oh, 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 but when you say about these, these players contract and their money, oh, 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 so they don't pay attention to that neither. Oh, man, this guy here is brilliant. This guy is brilliant, man. Mr. Stephen A is the most brilliant, talented guy they got on TV. This man is a trip. I told you. This man is a clown. He's a clown, a 100% clown. You talked about Kyrie Irving so bad, about how they should pay him one year at a time because you don't know when he's going to come to work and all this that in third. But you don't But you don't have a problem when the league listens to you uh, uh, when it comes down to that and, and your take on, on, on these players. Man, this, this, this guy, this, this is who he is, people. This is who he is. Hey, man, but uh, that's all I got on that, man, for today, man. Um... I want you to guys, like I say, man, uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave me a comment down below. 
uh, like the video and share. Subscribe, like, share the video. Uh, until the next time, man. It's your boy Breezy. And I'm out.